So last week we briefly touched on, on objects. We looked at creating an object class with static methods. We also looked at um, a object class where we used instant methods where we had to create an object variable of that specific class. Today we're going to go one step further and we're going to define specific attributes to the class and make sure that um, we have some uh, properties, attributes, data fields and behaviors, actions or methods for example. So let's get started with task one. The question states that we need to create a class, an object class named rectangle, which will represent a rectangle. So let's do that first. Rectangle is the class. Let me just make sure everything is in frame. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to clear this. Okay. Then the first step here is we need two double data fields named width and height spe to specify the width and the height of the rectangle and it needs to have default values of one for both fields. So let's do that as private data fields and both are double. So first we have width which will be equal to one and we have a private double height which will be equal to one. Now the reason why we use the private access modifier is because we do not want any other class to have direct access to these variables. Ra rather we want them to be to manipulate these variables through methods that we will write um, next or um, get, the uh, get the values through um, get methods or accesses. The next step in this task is to create a no argument constructor that creates a default rectangle. In other words, if uh, it, it, it has no arguments, no parameters to receive values. So if we call that constructor, it will make default values of one. So to do that, it's a public class because we need to be able to call it from another class. Public rectangle. Uh, and a constructor does not have any return type it's just public rectangle and it needs to be the na same name as your class open parentheses and nothing so if we do not have a, an argument a constructor with specific arguments and we try to create an instance of this rec rectangle class there will be an uh, automatic default like this in the background which java will use but if we have uh, uh, defined a constructor, the default one will not, we will, won't have access to that one. So we need to make sure to define our default one as well. Then next, the constructor, um, there needs to be another constructor that will create a rectangle with specified width and height. So it's also public rectangle parentheses, but in this case, we will be receiving values of a width and of the height of the rectangle. So something to remember, uh, when we have two constructors or two methods with the same name but different um, parameters, or even with a method that may have different return types, we call that method overloading. Uh, so in this case we are overloading the constructor as well. So if, if we create an, uh, an instance of the object with just rectangle with, with no arguments, it means this uh, constructor will be called. But if we pass through two arguments, this constructor will be called. So now the purpose of the constructor is to construct this class. In other words, to provide values to our private data field um, as we receive them as parameters. So something I want you to take note, we have two variables now with the same name. So I can't say width equals width because it, it doesn't know which one I'm referring to. So in this case, we use the this keyword, dot width, and this remain, re refers to this class. So this dot width will refer to my private data field width. And then I can add width from my parameter and it means that the parameter value will be assigned to the private data field of this class. And we can do the same with this dot height equals height. And the same thing will happen here. Height from the parameter will be assigned to height from this class, the private data field. 
and it will override the one as a default value. Moving on, next we need to create a method named getArea which will calculate and return the area of that specific rectangle and the formula is provided on Ifundi so with a method it's also going to be public but in this case it will have a return type and the return type will be double uh, public double get area parentheses no, are, no parameters needed if you can remember with last week's example we had parameters that was because we did not have specific attributes in that class so all values had to be passed through arguments in this case this will be done with our constructor so the constructor constructs values for this specific object class to use and what we'll do is return and the calculation is just width times height and here I do not have to use the this keyword because width and height will automatically refer to the private uh, data fields because width here in the constructor this parameter is only known in the body of this constructor it's not known anywhere else moving on the next method is called get per perimeter which calculates and returns the perimeter of uh, the specific rectangle so it's also going to be a public method and I have a return type of type double so get perimeter parentheses no uh, parameters at all and then we can return and the calculation is two times the sum of the width plus the height great Okay, that's all we need to do for now in the object class. We will come back to this one later on because I'm going to add two more methods. Let's just compile, there's no syntax errors, let's close and move on. Next we need to write a test program named test rectangle that will create two rectangle objects. One with a width of 4 and a height of 40 and the other with a width of 3.5 and a height of 35.9. And then we need to display all the information. So let's create another class called test rectangle over here let's remove this code and define our our public method okay there's our main method now let's create two uh, objects of the rectangle class so to do that as you can remember from last week we refer to the name of the class which is rectangle we give it our own name which will be rec1 in this case because we're going to have two objects so rec1 equals the new keyword because the new keyword means we'll create a new instance of the rectangle class and save it in the reference and it will be contained in the reference variable called rec1 of type rectangle so this object is of type rectangle because that's the name of the class and we are creating a new instance of this and this is rectangle now if I leave it like this with no arguments passed this means it will call the default constructor and assign the value 1 to both width and height um, but if I pass two arguments of type double it will call the second argument and assign the values that I pass through to the the constructor to the uh, and assign it to the private data fields in this case we have 4 as a, as a width and 40 as a height we're not gonna, not gonna ask for user input in this task just a uh, hard coded there then the second object is also type rectangle the name will be rec2 equals a new instance of rectangle and I'm calling the constructor and passing through the values 3.5 as the width and 35.9 as the height now that we have our two objects um, created with specific values we can now provide output now we have a problem here because the width we want to display the width but I don't want to hard code it as 4. I want to get that value from the object class. So let me just comment this one out for a second so it doesn't throw an error. So let's go back to our object class and let's create two accessor methods or get methods. All that the, the purpose of a get method is just to return the values of specific private data fields. So let's start off with the first one, also public, but in this case it will have a return type, it will return it a double get width open parentheses no no parameters the purpose is just to return the value of the private data field 
and we'll do the exact same thing for get height so public double get height and it returns the height so the value that is contained in the data field let's just compile no errors and move back to the test class now we can actually call that get method so get width but there's going to be an error and let's just read this undeclared variable oh i forgot my parentheses as well and it will still throw an error let's compile it will say undeclared method get width because remember get width is not a static method in other words i need to refer to which object i want to get the width from so the first one will be rec one dot get width and if i compile no errors i'm going to complete the rest okay there's the other output statements so something just to take note even if a method does not receive any arguments you still need to provide the open parentheses otherwise it will pick it up as a variable so in java always use your parentheses even if there are no arguments let's test the object uh, if the val values are correct for the first rectangle object called rec1 compile no errors let's run this and there we go that is the correct output great now you try on your own to set up the second one so you can just copy and paste this code and make sure to call rec2 and make sure your output is correct thank you for watching